Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Solon and welcome back to my channel, American Rotter. And in tonight's video, I am so glad you are joining in and watching because I have found for you on the internet for sale 10 amazing restored classic cars that will fit in anyone's budget from low budget or if you've even set a higher budget. Now, if you'll check the links in the description, I've done something different in this video. I've listed each car in the description plus the link that you can copy and paste and it will take you to either the Facebook page of the person that has the car for sale or either it'll take you to the Facebook group that has the car for sale or it'll take you to the phone number of the person that has the car for sale. One of those three. If you happen to do a search and you do not find that car, that probably means that car has already sold because I don't think these cars are gonna stay around for these prices. And while there are a lot of you watching this video, there's only one car of each one of these for sale. So check out the video, I hope you enjoy it. Please like, subscribe, and share if you like these type of videos. And also, please comment. I love your comments. Whether they're good or bad, I love them. I'll respond to them all. Thank you so much. Enjoy the video. Okay, first car up tonight is a 1977 Chevrolet El Camino Super Sport asking $16,000 listed over a week ago in Christianburg, Virginia. This car has only been driven 81,000 miles, totally all original miles, it has automatic transmission, the exterior color is red and the interior color is black. This is a one owner that is selling this car with a clean title. It's rare to find a low mileage garage kept 1977 El Camino Super Sport with a Laguna front end package. This car is in excellent condition, all original, nice interior, only 83,000 original miles. It has a small block 350 automatic transmission, air conditioner, and you can drive it anywhere. This car is ready to roll. He's asking 16,000 or best offer. And he might take a trade if you're only serious about it, but I think it's a really good deal if you've got kind of a low end budget. $16,000 is not bad for a one owner, all original, with only 81,000 miles. Now, what's fun is Chevrolet classified these as a coupe utility pickup. And production for this model was around 12,000 units, so there's not a lot of these super sports out there. Up number two, this is a 1958 Chevrolet Human sedan delivery. This car has been listed for $14,500 about five days ago in Lexington, South Carolina. Now about this vehicle, it, it does not list the mileage, but it does have an automatic transmission. Exterior color is yellow, the interior color is gray. Now this 58 sedan delivery is very rare. It has a built 454 in it. It has automatic transmission, power steering, power brakes, power windows. The owner describes this car as needing a little bit of tender loving care, but it is a good running daily driver. He's had new brakes put on it. Now, total production was 8,500 units all across all of the varieties of the 1958 sedan delivery. Now, there was three types that was produced. There was the Yeoman, which is this one, and it actually should be spelled Y-E-O-M-A-N. There was the Biscayne, and there was the Del Rey. Now, the Yeoman was the probably the bottom line of the production of the sedan deliveries, because there's probably more of them out there, but still 8,500 units total that year for all the sedan deliveries. That means that this car probably in itself is still fairly rare. Number three, which is probably my favorite of all 10 cars shown here tonight. This is a very rare 1933 Studebaker President Series 300 sedan. It has a 350 small block Chevy, which is a GM crate motor. It has headers and full exhaust. It has a five speed manual transmission. It has a Curry 90 inch rear end. It's got QA1 rear coilovers disc brakes on the front and drum brakes on the rear. Functional doors and front, three windows with a cow vent. 
a Bluetooth compatible radio has been installed. It has air condition and heat and it has been installed by Vintage Air Company. Electric fans were installed to help cool the radiator. The body is all insulated and has inside new carpet. Owner says that there's too much detail to list, but if you would like to message him for more details or pictures or even an option to come by and check it out, go ahead and message him. Owner says this car was built to drive anywhere. He's asking $35,000 or best offer. And what I love about this car is you take a rare car like the 1933 Studebaker President Series 300 sedan and you combine it and make a rare rat rod slash street rod in of itself a beautiful work of art there's not a single rat rod out there that is the same as another rat rod this one is beautiful inside and out and i just love this car and i think it's a great deal especially when he's taking best offers on thirty-five thousand. number four this is a 1967 Cadillac Series 75 Fleetwood Limo listed in Rocky Mount, Virginia. This is a rare factory limo. It's not a family car. It has 66,000 original miles. It has the partition glass still in it that separates the front seat from the back seat. It has black leather interior in the driver's side section and gray cloth interior in the rear. 80% of it is the original paint, and the seller states that it looks better in person than it does in the pictures. It does have cracks, bubble scratches, some small rust spots, nothing major. Floors and mounts are solid. He's had all new wheel cylinders put on it, new brake hoses, brake lines. It has new 20-inch Detroits and Diamondbacks. It's got a new seven-way wireless air ride with a seamless five gallon tank to help the airlift. Everything works as it should. Lights, horn, windows, wipers, etc. The only thing that doesn't work is the air conditioner. He said he just uh, has not had time to deal with that. But the car does run and drives real nice. Now what's interesting about this, there's only 2,250 of this limo produced in the United States in 1967. And I doubt if very, very many of them survived over the years. So I would think that would make this a very rare Cadillac Fleetwood limo for the asking price of only $26,000. A great cruiser to ride around in. Number five is a 1950 Ford custom built Roadster convertible. They're asking $32,500 for it, and it was listed two weeks ago in Jasper, Alabama. It has only a few thousand miles on it since its restoration. It has automatic transmission. The exterior color is yellow. The interior color is burgundy. This vehicle's paid off, so it comes with a clean title. The seller notes that this vehicle has no significant damage or problems. Uh, it is a custom Roadster convertible with a 302 motor and automatic transmission. Custom paint and interior. It's a very good driver. He says spring is here and it's time to get out and cruise. Number six. Now this is one of the most beautiful cars I've ever seen listed on the internet. A 1958 Chevrolet Delray Delivery. $57,500. It has only 300 miles on it since its restoration. This 1958 Chevrolet Del Rey delivery wagon is one of the best, if not the nicest, 1958 Del Rey delivery wagons in the country. It is super slick, super straight black paint through Don's Hot Rods. All leather interior has been done by Bob Lyons in Brookville, Ohio. For power, it has a 1958 348 tri-power engine backed by Muncie four-speed that has all been rebuilt. The gaps are terrific. The doors shut with an easy click, better than a new car. One-piece bumpers, all the trim as straight as can be, and polished to a mirror finish. The chrome all looks new. The door jams are just as clean. New rubber, new door seals. 
This car is basically like a new car from top to bottom. The underside is just as clean as the top and the owner can say with confidence that this car is amazing and spectacular to see live and in person. This would be a perfect car for a road trip where you can drive in confidence. My personal comment on this car is that this is probably one of the nicest cars I've seen on the internet in a very long time. Number seven. This is a 1950 Chevrolet sedan delivery for $36,999. This 1950 Chevrolet sedan delivery wagon has only been driven a thousand miles since its restoration. It is for sale or trade and the delivery has been painted in twilight blue with metallic blue silver accented ghost flames and custom pinstripes. This car was restored in California. This car features a Chevrolet 350 small block with an automatic turbo 350 transmission. It has a new drive shaft, new exhaust, it has a 74 Nova front clip, it has new white wall tires, Ford 90 inch rear, new fuel cell and lines. It also has custom arch front wheel wells. It has a one piece front hood and windshield. It has a custom one off galaxy seats and custom handmade rolled aluminum rear panels. It has beautiful glazed wood in the back, custom suitcase with speakers and stereo installed, it has tilt steering wheel, new carpet. The owner says that this vehicle would probably make a great advertising vehicle for some company, but heck, for me, I would just love driving the thing as my own personal car. Okay, on number eight, they had the same thing to happen in this video as did the last video. This 1946 Diamond T404H diesel truck that was for sale for $50,000 was listed and the time I got through producing the video and went in to get the link, could not find it no more on the web, which indicated this truck had probably already sold. And who can blame you? For $50,000, you already get a truck like this. And it appears it may have had the original motor still installed in it, maybe just uh, updated. But this was one wild truck, and I just had to share it with you because it was so awesome to see. And I wish I could have got the link up in time before it sold, but like I said, these cars don't stay on the net for long, especially if they're a very good deal. Number nine, this is a 1982 Brazilian Volkswagen double cab bus for $21,900 listed in Loganville, Georgia. It's a 1982 Brazilian VW double cab bus. The engine is a 1500cc that the owner says fires right up and runs good. It has disc brakes on the front. It shifts solid like it should. It has a solid frame. He says, however, this is far from a perfect show bus, but a good driver quality bus. It does have some rust spots and some body filler on the body. Turn signals work except for the right rear one. Headlights, wipers, and horn work. He said the fuel gauge does not seem to be working, but that might be something that could fix quite easily. The back door handle does not work. It has to be open from the inside of the cab. This is priced to be the cheapest running, driving double cab on the market. But he's open to reasonable offers. He prefer, prefers to sell it, but may trade for other classics. No motorcycle, boats, etc. But he's happy to help arrange shipping if you aren't local. It's got a clean title, and somewhere along the line, something was entered wrong, and the title shows 1962 instead of 1982. But it has been inspected in Georgia, and title matches the bus.
Okay, we finally made it to the last one in the video. This is number 10. This is a 1927 Oldsmobile 30 Series E listed for 16500 in Borg, Louisiana. This car has only been driven 300 miles since its total restoration. The exterior color is red and the interior color is beige. This engine was torn down and machined with new bearings. All the sheet metal was removed and the wood frame was reconstructed with red oak. The only finishing touch is the bumpers. He's painted the brackets, but the bumpers themselves still need to be addressed, either painted or chromed. He is currently entertaining offers on this car, so check it out before it gets gone. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And please leave a comment. I love everybody's comments, whether they're good or bad, and I will answer those comments.